What's going on everybody? It is U-Turn Crobat here bringing you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. So, today I am bringing you a Pokemon Wi-Fi battle against Connor. And I am bringing my electric team, I am bringing my Gavantula, my Electivire, my Ampharos, my Lantern, my Dedenne, my sweet little precious Dedenne, and my Magnezone. So, uh, today, I am gonna kind of show you a kind of a different battle because some of these Pokemon I rarely have faced before. So let's get right down to it. Now, I did see an Espeon on his team, and so I'm just kind of thinking, huh, Espeon equals Magic Bounce. So I was thinking, you know, he's probably going to bring out a Magic Bounce Espeon, but I kind of wanted to feel him out. He throws out his Snorlax, and I throw out my Garbantula. Uh, he, knowing that he did not bring out his Espeon, I did want to get the Sticky Web up, now he does use Yawn, and I know my Galvantula can still do some damage with the Thunder, um, Bug Buzz, and Signal Beam, but, yeah, I mean, not to the Snorlax, but just in general, but I wanted to switch out to my Lantern. I wanted to, uh, just confuse this thing, because Lantern, oh, wow, no, not Lantern, because, uh, the Snorlax is incredibly bulky. The whole thing is just made of fat, and so I just want to get this thing out. I want to get this thing off the ground and I want to just obliterate this thing because I do not want to put up with him. So I do get the confusion off, which is what I wanted, but he does get the yawn. And so I'm thinking, you know, I do not want to go to sleep yet. I'm not that tired. Huh. So, <laughs> so I go into my Ampharos because I want to try and paralyze this thing because the confusion plus the parahax is epic. I, I love it. So I do get the Thunder Wave. Ah. Now this Snorlax is confused and he is paralyzed, and with that combo, it is not a good, it is not good for my um my 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 opponent because as you can see, once he does snap out of the confusion, he does get paralyzed uh, for that turn, and so I do Mega Evolve because I want to try and do something to the Snorlax here, so I end up just uh, doing my Power Gem because I want to try and get some damage off on him. Now, Power Gem doesn't really do too much, but it does a decent amount. I mean, this Snorlax is a tank. It can take so many hits. So I I just want to withdraw. I want to go into my Dedenne. So I want to try and... Uh, I think at this point, my Dedenne knows Play Rough. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, actually, I think it does. Um, but I do try and end up going for my Grass Knot anyways. Uh, I just know that this thing is a huge Pokemon. And once the once a huge Pokemon like that is weak to grass and it gets tripped by the grass nut, it will go down faster depending on how big it is. Now, unfortunately for me, the Snorlax didn't go down because he is not weak to grass and he does get the yawn up, which is so awful because I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Uh, so he does use a sleep talk, which is an excellent move to have on him. But unfortunately for him, he does decide to go for the uh, the, um, the rest again. Now, I'm thinking, you know, maybe I can try and get some damage off on him while he's asleep, because he is not Resto Chesto, he is uh, Rest Sleep Tot. So I do go for my Play Rough to try and get some damage off on him, but unfortunately for me, when he does go for the Sleep Talk, he does get the Body Slam on me. Now, I'm thinking, you know, if I can use my Charge Beam, I can get my Special Attack boosted, and I can do more damage to him. So I go for my uh, Charge Beam, and he does go for a Sleep Talk while he wakes up, and that's not a good time for him. Now I go for my play rough again, because I just want to try and do something to him. But he does use rest, and this combination of, of the Snorlax... Uh, I... I was getting annoyed, <laughs> but... You know, it's whatever. Snorlax, obviously it's gonna use rest, I'm sure, and sleep talk. But I do try going for my Charge Beam again to try and raise my attack. Now, he does use Sleep Talk again, and he does use Rest from that Sleep Talk, unfortunate for him. But I do go for my Charge Beam, because I want to raise my attack. I want to try and do more damage this time around. Now, it's not really working, because he's not weak to Electric or anything like that. So, I end up just switching things up. I go for my Thunderbolt, trying to do more, and that does a hell of a lot more. And I'm thinking, you know, I should I should stick with that. But I thought about that too late, because he does take me out with the Body Slam. Now, I should have been using my Thunderbolt to begin with, seeing, uh, seeing how much damage it does do. So I go out into my Electrovire, though, to just try and clean things up here, to try and fix things. I go for my Ice Punch, because I'm thinking, you know, if it doesn't take this thing out, maybe I can freeze him. 
But luckily for me, it does take the Snorlax out, and I do not have to put up with him anymore. So now, Connor ends up bringing out Bringit, his Espeon. His Espeon does get caught in the sticky web, and I do end up going for my... Well, I was uh, at that point, I was thinking of going for my Earthquake. But I end up going out into my Galvantula because this Espeon is weak to some of my moves. Now, the Espeon does go for the Psychic, and it doesn't really take me out. It does get me good. But I go for my Signal Beam because I know that he is weak to uh, Bug. And I end up taking him out just barely. Uh, while he goes for Psychic, he does take me out. Now, I'm glad I did use my Signal Beam. I'm glad that I used it because it did do a massive damage to Espeon. Unfortunately, it didn't take it out in one hit like it looked like it was going to do. But I bring out my Ampharos trying to outspeed the Espeon. And unfortunately, he... Well, at that point, I was thinking, you know, damn, that Dazzling Gleam was going to do so much to me. Because I am part dragon now. But it doesn't. It does not because my Ampharos is pretty bulky. My Mega Ampharos is a beast. And I am trying to use him as much as I can. Now... I was so thankful that this was not that the dazzling gleam uh, that the dazzling gleam wasn't going to do much. Now he does bring out his Lucario, and I can't really do much because I'm mostly electric. So I switch out into my uh, my Magnezone because my Magnezone uh, can it does no uh, hidden power fire, but unfortunately he does do a so he does do so much to me with that Aura Sphere. But knowing knowing he didn't kill me, knowing I can outspeed now. I do go for my Hidden Power of Fire, and I do take Lucario out just like that. So he does go into his bubbles, his Greninja. And so his Greninja is um, now slower because of the Sticky Web. So I switch out, thinking, you know, I do not want to get Nice Beam or anything, or Drain Punch or Mouth Punch or whatever. So I go into my Lantern, and how is it that every single Greninja I go up against is always new? Because this thing knows extrasensory and it knows thief. So like I'm thinking, what is going on here? But I get my bolt switch up trying to take this thing out because I do I don't want him to uh, steal my steal my items anymore. Now unfortunately it didn't take him out, but he did get down into yellow, which is good for me because now I can um, do another thunder attack or electric or I can do anything to him and it'll take him out. Unless he switches out. But he doesn't, he goes for the extra sensory. Now it doesn't do too much to me because, I, like I said before, I am pretty bulky. And I do take him out with a Thunderbolt. And I'm thinking, you know, thankfully, this Greninja is gone. Uh, he does know... I, 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 I kind of wanted to know what other moves he knew. He knew Thief and he knew Extra Sensory. But I take him out nonetheless. So he goes out into his Aerodactyl. And his Aerodactyl knows uh, it throughout his crunch there. It doesn't really do too much to me. Because because of what my uh, typing is and because of what um because of what I EV trained it in now Aerodactyl is weak to Thunder because it is part uh, flying so I end up going for my Thunderbolt and take the Aerodactyl out and he does go into his Charizard uh, Charizard Y and this Charizard Y does no drought and I do believe at this point he does take me out with um, a flamethrower um, let's see what happens. I haven't seen this in a little while, guys. Uh, but he does go into his flamethrower, and yes, he does take me out. Now, he does take me out with a flamethrower because firepower is more powered when it's in, when a drought is up. And he, Charizard does kind of, I do believe he does outspeed, every, he does outspeed when drought's up. But I'd have to double check that, uh. Now, the reason why I brought out my lantern is because I knew that fire... I know that Lantern was kind of resisted against fire, but at that point, how much health my Lantern had, it did, uh, the Charizard did take me out. But I do use my Wild Charge for my Electivire to the Charizard, because I'm just thinking, you know, I don't really care if my Electivire gets, uh, Recoil, because it is his last Pokemon. Charizard was his last Pokemon. So, it didn't really matter if I got the Recoil or not. So, that was an interesting battle. Like I said, that Greninja kind of shocked me. I was thinking it was going to be the ice type of, uh, um, the, uh, the ice beam of sorts. Because every Greninja that I have faced knows ice beam, pretty much. Um, another thing that surprised me was... Let's see... 
was the, uh, well, I guess the Espeon didn't really surprise me too much, but I guess it was just mainly the Greninja that kind of took me by surprise because, like I said, I've never faced that type of Greninja before. And so, Connor, I hope you had a great time battling me because I did have a great time battling you, and I hope all of you guys uh, have had a great time watching it because I had a great time watching it. I had a great time recording it. I had fun. I had fun. It was great. Uh, I threw a party. I wish. I was so. Um, I hope you guys are, you know, leaving your comments down below because I kind of wanna. I wanna talk to you guys. I just, I just wanna see what I can improve on, and if you guys ever wanna battle me, that would be awesome because I would love to battle you guys. So don't forget, rate, comment, subscribe. Arceus, guys, Arceus. Take care. So baby, when the lights go out. So there's that. Um, right now, I am out of the bank and I kinda just wanted to show you uh, the, my little town that I am in. Um, it's, not, it's not a bad town, not a bad town at all. Um, I grew up here, and it's pretty cool. Um, here, I'll kind of show you a little bit. Well, that's about it for that. Um, I am getting into the kind of busier part of town, and I didn't really want to be holding my camera because I'll get into a, an accident, I'm sure. Um, yep, and that wouldn't be good because then that would delay my recording, that would delay just about everything because I would have to save up, um, to get my car fixed, and that wouldn't be good for you guys because you guys want all my videos on time, don't you? Um, I think so, but yep, that was it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> but um, I guess yeah. Just let me know what you. If you want to talk about anything, just let me know in the comment section. Um, remember, guys, Arceus. If you ever forget what that stands for, just think of the Pokemon God. Pray to the Pokemon God, and he will tell you. Take care, guys.